Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. To me, every word he uttered was of the highest truth, leading to liberation. His words absolutely amazed me as we read the message he taught his disciples. If the advice given is lived, it works. Please continue watching to find out more. Hello, big-hearted viewers. Hello is a greeting word in Scottish Gaelic. I'm Emily. The charitable people of Scotland congratulate you on your spiritual progress and choosing a compassionate vegan diet. May God bless you and your loved ones. When Hilda Charlton was four years old, she moved to the United States from London, England with her parents. At the age of 18, Hilda began performing as a modern dancer, a career that lasted for 20 years. After that, she spent 15 years in India, studying Eastern mysticism and meditation. Hilda Charlton was an extraordinary being. She taught classes for more than 23 years in New York City, giving practical lessons to thousands of seekers about living a life of truth, courage and love. Hilda's teachings stressed the importance of self-mastery, giving and forgiving, unconditional love and remembrance of God. Hilda Charlton's book, Saints Alive, is a collection of extraordinary classes she gave at the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine in New York City. She spoke with love, wisdom and humour of the saints and holy people who were a living part of her life. The book also includes practical lessons on how to live a life of truth, courage and love. We now share with you an excerpt from Chapter 1, The Garden of Master Jesus from Saints Alive. Jesus came to earth to teach us of the coming time. He talked of it to his disciples to prepare them so they would pass it on to us. To me, he is the yogi of yogis. Sometimes you look at him on the cross with his head all down to one side and you forget he was the yogi of yogis. He could do anything that any yogi could do. We know that Jesus could walk on water. We know that he had these powers. We know that he went to Tibet as a young man. We know he went to Glastonbury and walked those shores. To me, every word he uttered was of the highest truth, leading to liberation. His words absolutely amazed me as we read the message he taught his disciples. If the advice given is lived, it works. It works like magic. Wonderful, exciting. It lives and works today as it did 2,000 years ago. Preachers have often made his message dull. I hope I don't tonight. If I do, Jesus forgive me. Oh... I saw a lovely blue light come on my book. That's nice. I guess he forgave me. And parents made the message of Jesus compulsory, right? But if you read in love, his words are jewels of the rarest kind that make life easy, a pasture with flowers, a success. When Jesus first came to me, I knew only Ramakrishna and Jesus and Mary, just the three of them. Nitya Ananda, Mahadevananda, Sai Baba, and numerous others I had not yet met. Although at that time, Nityananda had appeared to me in my room and helped me to my breathing exercises. Nityananda didn't say, I'm a yogi in the Himalayas, and therefore, if she belongs to Jesus, I can't do anything for her. And when I met Mahadevananda, he didn't say, What's your religion? 
he didn't say, have you been baptized? And Jesus didn't come down and say, have you been baptized? It's good to be baptized, of course it is. I'm not against baptism, for goodness sake. I'm not against anything, except maybe the evil darkness of this world that pushes people onto railway tracks. That I'm against, but nothing else. Whatever way you want to worship, worship in that way. Do what you have to. If you'd like to go by the way of the rules, go by the way of the rules if it makes you happy and makes you feel secure. The planetary beings and all of those teachers I mentioned all work in harmony for the one God. Only down here do we separate into little groups and call ourselves names and make separations. And if there's any separation in any of your hearts tonight, put there by some stupidity, let's wipe it out tonight and go away free souls that can look at the sky and know that we are free in the infinite, absolute God Almighty and that we're not bound by anything or anyone. Yet we can still walk into a church, you understand. Vali came here tonight because she wanted to go into the church. Does that bind her? No, it makes her broader. We should be able to go into a synagogue and fill at home there. For is it not the one God that we're all worshipping? I've gone to Muslim shrines. Is that not the one God? I met a Muslim saint over in India. I was dancing at the Taj Mahal Hotel in Bombay at the time as a classical dancer, and he came to see me dance. I understood Hebrews, I understood Christians, but at that time I didn't quite understand what the Muslim religion was. This great saint would sit, sit all day at the gateway of India on Bombay's waterfront, and in the evening he would go back to his shrine. I sat with him and I said, what do you worship? And he said, I worship the one light, the one energy. And then I thought, that is what I worship. And there the unity came with the Muslims. Do you understand this? I became broad that day. I accepted another thing and I felt bigger and better for having done that. None of these blessed ones have any separation. Not they, not my Jesus. Live truth, and no matter what your label, you are one with Jesus. Did he ask me what I was? No, he just came and loved. Do you know that little ditty? Oh, how I love Jesus. In the Orient, a healer came to town. He could touch a person and a goiter would go down. A club foot would be healed. It was fantastic to watch. Three of us went there to see him. A Hindu, a Jehovah's Witness, and myself. One who worships the Absolute. They sang that song, and we came out dancing like three dopes. We were going down the street singing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Does anyone here know that song? Let's sing it. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. You know what I'm saying at this moment. I'm seeing Mary with the child Jesus in her arms. And as we are singing, I see her swaying with the child. For more information on Hilda Charlton and her teachings, please visit hildacharlton.com. Elegant viewers, thank you for your company for today's Selections from Saints Alive by Hilda Charlton, Vegetarian. Chapter 1, The Garden of Master Jesus, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. 
Please join us again tomorrow for part two of this programme. Coming up next is Hula Dance, The Spirit of Hawaii, part two of two, right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May your pure hearts bring joy and harmony to you and your loved ones always. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada WOW. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com/schedule và suprememastertv.com/vkovkov.